Welcome to Rapid University Training Series. In this mini tutorial, we will learn how to use Report for Certified Course at Rapid University. Rapid University is a subdivision of Rapid Learning Center, which hosts all the Rapid Learning Certified Courses, leveraging the Moodle Learning Management System. It allows the educator to disseminating knowledge and information collaborating and interacting with students. Reports are essential for educators to monitor the student learning progress and provide feedback. By completing this tutorial, you will learn how to navigate and view these reports, live logs report, activity report, participation report, and statistic report that would allow you to monitor the student learning progress. So let's get started. So I'm locking as a non-editing teacher role. I'm going to click on the course. On the course here, notice this section here under Administration. This Administration menu would vary depending on the user role. So in this, as my role here as a non-editing teacher, I have the capability, the visibility to view the report, the grade of all my students. So for today, I'll show you how to access the reports. Click on Reports on the Administration menu. There are four reports that I'll be showing you, the live logs, the activity log, participation report, and statistics. On the report, we have a filter criteria that we can set to view a specific scenario. The first one is we can set the course that we want to view the activity log. The second one is to select the different participation, you have an options to view either all participants, a specific student that you want to see their activity. In this case, I'll go ahead and select participation for all. The next one is the date that you want to see their activity. You have the options of all days or a specific day. I'll go ahead and select all days. The next criteria is all activities uh, that you can select that is uh, included in the course. So you can select any topics, any tutorial or core tutorials, or any module in the course that have been preloaded for you. So um, in this scenario, I'll just go ahead and select all activities and the different action that I can view, which could be view at update, delete, or any changes. I'll select all actions that done by all participants on all day. I do have, an, the last one, I do have an option whether to display on the page, to download in various formats such as text, ODS, and Excel. I'll click on display on the page, then click get these logs. So these logs provide me um, all the activity that is included in the rapid in the course Certify High School Chemistry for all participants all day. And here is a display of the timestamps, the computer IP address, the name, the different actions as taken by the user, and the information and descriptions. Uh, for that particular action. So let's go back to report. Let's take a look at um, the next report is called live logs. What this log is allow you to view the the various activity that is done during the past hour. So in here I'm just showing this one for the use of Siri has been accessing um, on this specific date and the various action here, different logs and description here, there are six records as shown here. Okay. 
Let's go on the second report, which is the activity report. This particular report indicate for the course high school chemistry, you can view the different components. In this case, it shows for the activity, the view, and the last time is access. For example, this Core Tutorial 1 has been viewed 107 times and the last time it was accessed was January 3rd. So you can scroll down far to all the activities, um, all different topics that are listed on your course. Let's go back to Report by clicking Report on the top navigation. The next one, let's view at participation report. The participation report is particularly useful for teacher so that you can monitor. For example, if you assign them, your student, a specific uh, modules or lesson to study, it's good to know whether the student has actually viewed or posted any activity on that module. So in this example, let's say I want to select in this case, I will select the module, Core Tutorial 1, and I want to see any activity for the last year of a Core Tutorial 1 that is done by the students. You do have an option to select the various role, but I'm interested only in the student. Um, on the show action here, you do have an option whether they view or post. In this case, I want to select all action and click go. Down below, based on my criteria setting module for core tutorial one for the last year for all students, there are 87 students um, assigned to this particular one. Notice the column next to the student name, there's action. What the action indicate is the yes mean yes, the student has either view or post the particular core tutorial one. The number in parentheses is the number of how many times they have taken that action. So it's particularly useful is, for example, if I'm an instructor and I want to quick send a quick note for students who hasn't view, I can just select a check mark to those who hasn't view. And then I can select one or many as I want to send a message and I can click on add send message. This will take me to a WYSIWYG to allow me to compose a notes or letter. You have, um, let's just say, let's change the fonts. You can select the font size. You can make it bulk, however you want, or insert I. There's a WYSIWYG that display that would allow me to compose a letters that allow me to style it any way which one I want is based on what you see is what you get. So I can send a quick message to the student, say, oops, Miss Bell, I did not see you view core tutorial. One, please do it. Now down below here is a list of the students that I will be sending a message to and I click up I can click on preview to preview the message. If this is what I want, I can click on go ahead and send. If I want to make change, I can go ahead and click on update. I can highlight bold it however I want or on the line to emphasize it and go back to preview and then if I'm satisfied with a message I can click send and this message will send to all the student on the distribution list that I selected if not I can go back to update it let's get back I'm clicking on the course name let's get back to the report the last report that I will recover is the statistics. This will give you uh, an idea of activity that's going on on the course. So I have an option to select the course. 
on the drop down are the course that all the course that I'm enrolled in. So I'm going to go ahead and select the high school chemistry, the 101, and I can select all the different activities uh, on various roles. So it be, could be all activity for all roles, student, teacher, administrator, or a specific view or post. So I'll go ahead and select all activity in all role, and I can set the period to as far back as I want on the drop down list and I want to see in this case for the last year. Click on view. Notice here on the graph here, what this graph indicate is that for the course RL101-LS, which is the high school chemistry, for all activity, for all roles, you could see here the number record been viewed by date. Below here is the legend that shows the student's activities, the non-editing teacher, administrator, and all. Below here is a table that shows specifically it's a number of view by month. It shows the various the students, non-editing teacher, administrator, and all. Um, what it is like in this example here, for example, say in February you see there's a spike. There's a, there are about 1,300 number of students have viewed the record and the rest of the other roles. If you want to see more specific about you know who actually um, accessed this on this spike period, you can just click on the link course logs. Okay. In this case, um, you don't see the record here because uh, we purged some data, so we can't go that far. But you will see a list of different names and information that would access this log. So, for help, let's go ahead and maybe select not that specific date, but let's just select the all day and go back and view the logs. And there it is, the timestamp, who use it what action, what kind of information. Thank you everyone, that's conclude the reporting module.